My name is Bogalich Gebre, and I am an Ethiopian woman working towards eliminating gender-based violence. The following is my story, and I hope you will be inspired to join us to make the world a better place for the dignity of men and women. You are in Kambata Tambaro zone uh, in a small village called Zato where I grew up. This is my parents' house. This is my memory of my young kid. This is the place I ran. This is the place I played. This is the place I... It describes my, my, my being, my memories, my formation is within was in this house. I was working, I will bring water, I will cook, I will sit, I will do like any other little child will do. As, as a girl, I'm always doing something, helping my mother, like my sisters. Bogey had to play tricks on her parents to attend school. Before 6 o'clock a.m., she left the house to fetch water. <laughs> but she left the water pot in the bush and went to classes. After about an hour, she returned home with water, which made her parents happy. Her uncle helped. By the time her father discovered her tricks, Bogey was already able to read. When she was a young girl, Bogey suffered genital mutilation, as almost every Ethiopian girl has done for centuries. What we are trying to simulate here is what happened to me. Uh, a strong man sat behind me. I was sat just like her. I was about the same age. Two strong women would sit on the side who would hold her leg. He would bring both his legs puts in between my leg, holds me stretched out until my bones are cracking so that I wouldn't be moving. And the woman, my time it was bled, but traditionally it's obsidian. She cuts in any way she understands how to cut. She cuts the inner labia, the clitoris, inner labia, outer labia, and you would be bleeding. I almost bled to death. I bled and bled and bled and the blood wouldn't stop. At 17, Bogue left Ethiopia to study epidemiology in Israel and the United States. In 1997, she decided to return to her country. Having grown up in, in, in a condition I grew up, having experienced what I have experienced, having given opportunity I was given, which is a miracle by itself, to go from this place, to go through Israel, America, and be in California, at that in Santa Monica, jog every day, go to a spa, you know, just unquestionable, unacceptable, that I would not do something to change the life of here, of, of the girls of my neighborhood or my country if I could, but I would start in a place where I know, with the people I know, the culture I know, the faces I know, the language I know, the problem I know. The organization Bogey founded, KMG, envisions a society where women are free from all forms of discrimination and violence. Bogey asks the women two questions. Who has been circumcised? Who has circumcised her daughter? All of them are circumcised, but they have not circumcised. The second raising hand was that all of them did not circumcise their daughters. 
Through social mobilization and community conversations, KMG has succeeded in helping most of the women understand what excision means. They have experienced the horror, but today their daughters are free. KMG engages people and helps them to understand basic truths, such as the damage female mutilation inflicts on a woman's psyche and her health. When they find out that they didn't have to do it, the lost life is for nothing. Why can't we stop? Why not? Because it's not in the Bible, it's not in the Quran, it's not in the law. Why are we continuing it? So they reach some kind of understanding and consensus and they create their own law to stop. We didn't dictate, we didn't say stop. They will make their own decision. Voila. According to a UNICEF study, female genital mutilation in the Kambata Tembaro zone decreased from nearly 100% in 1999 to less than 3% in 2008. Today, a woman does not need to get excised to get married. Demikesh and her husband Tafisi wanted to be the first couple in their area to publicly announce the fact that she was uncut. KMG's approach of eliminating harmful customary practices such as female genital mutilation, its approach is not addressing female genital mutilation in isolation uh, outside of women's life. Education is a very central part of our work because education opens people's mind. Education gives opportunity. Education helps uh, people, particularly women, a peripheral vision. KMG set up a school that is now managed by the local community. Abeba is 20. She attended school here. Today, she's studying civil engineering. She wants to come back to the area and work to improve local infrastructure. She explains why Bogue is a role model. I'm a good student. Because of that, I have a hope to join university. Normally, when she learn like to us, she ha I think she has uh, no any comfortable condition like to us. Because of that, by using this and other chances, we are uh, going, we want to go uh, self-confident. These are mothers of the children whom we have helped the children first to in buying material, school material in buying uh, 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 uniforms. For each family, we started helping one child. We build asset for that family. We help that family to build their own income, their own asset, so that they continue to teach, to send their children to school, not only one child. They are organized, operating in areas they are comfortable with, meaning they trade, uh, grain, the trade, um, the fat and cows, the whatever the market is uh, uh, good to sell.
The principle of uh, this uh, ceremony is to celebrate the uncut girls. They're coming out of age to celebrate the mothers who have the courage not to cut their children, the community who stood against the wave of tradition and current each year in the in the coming out season of cut girls we are reversing that tradition honoring uncut girls honoring the family honoring the community the change and transformation this is a principle today kmg has 106 employees and 6000 volunteers Bogue's organization works in 700 villages to benefit about 2.5 million people. Today we are working in 26 districts, many linguistic groups, many traditional groups and different, different cultures and behaviors. And so we are scaling up. What we cannot wait is really to take it all over Ethiopia, not only KMG, but other NGOs are adapting and using KMG tools and skills. She's created some kind of models that work and that uh, she's been able to get other communities in other different regions to adopt. One of Bogey's most valuable achievements is to have changed people's behavior concerning issues that were culturally taboo. As an active member of Ethiopian civil society, she has touched citizens and public authorities. This is an unusual accomplishment. Bogey is perfectly aware of the need to be cautious when she's discussing human rights, and, as she says, to edit her words when discussing issues such as rape or domestic violence. Le problème auquel sans doute Bogué est confronté régulièrement et auquel elle doit faire attention, c'est d'arriver à, à faire son activité, qui est finalement une activité de développement démocratique, de d'empowerment de, 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 en anglais des gens, euh, de la société, à transformation de la société. Et donc, ça veut dire nécessairement que les gens prennent plus conscience de leurs valeurs et de ce que et de leurs droits et donc elle doit le faire d'une manière à ce que ce soit euh, accepté par les autorités euh, éthiopiennes. She's uh, one of the national heroes. I was just uh, telling her that uh, I, although I haven't, you know, visited her uh, project sites. I have watched her through Ethiopian TV and heard about her through radio programs and so on. She has been profiled many times, I believe, and uh, she is considered as one of the national heroes. Now you have heard our stories, stories of women, stories of old women, stories of young girls, and you are inspired by it and become part of our effort to make real change happen for all of us. Thank you very, very much.